Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Ariel here, and today we have what I am calling an upscale family home. And so the way I have this home designed is it's actually uh, three bedrooms, two bath, uh, with laundry facilities. It also has a very large kitchen, large dining area, large living room, and then it also contains a nursery. And so why... I had started calling it the upscale family home and I actually I actually kind of had a hard time deciding on a name. I'd been sitting here battling with myself, I'd probably say for at least the last 10 minutes on what to call it. So I was thinking upgradable, but I'm like, no, that sounds stupid. Or um, uh, I, I don't know. I kind of, this is pretty much as close as I had gotten. So if this name even stays there, um, I'm sure you'll already know because it'll be written down in the description box below. Um, but that's that's what I'm calling it for now. It's number 13 in my series of homes I have built in this notebook. So, and I'm not sure if I go. I, I'm not sure if I plan on going back and actually uh, doing some of the ones I had already done in my Sims houses because I had done a bunch of like um, tiny homes. Well, not necessarily maybe tiny homes, but small houses. A lot of, like, starter lots and stuff like that. Um, and I had also drawn out an apartment complex. I also have a different apartment complex. Except for it's not really an apartment complex. It's like a townhouse complex. Which I know you can only really control one family at once. But I I thought it was kind of cool to draw. I thought it was kind of cool to build. So um, I haven't decided if I'm going to make that one or two parts yet. Uh, if it's already up, I'll go ahead and link it down in the description box below. Um, but I I wasn't sure because it's, it's a really long video. It's one of the longest videos I've ever done. And normally my videos actually aren't that long. So I've been thinking about like different challenges to do and different stuff. And I'm just... I have uh, done something for the 10,000 dollar build challenge um, and then uh, that's that's pretty much it but I, I mean there was a lot of them that I was seeing that it's a, like a quick build and I'm like <laughs> my builds aren't really that long um, that apartment complex or that townhouse complex I built is I think like literally the longest I've ever taken on a house which was just under an hour so if I'm gonna do like a uh, like a timed challenge, I'd probably have to do like 20 minutes, and even then I've done a lot of houses under 20 minutes. In fact, I just I I've drawn up a lot of stuff on the fly in under 20 minutes. So, um, and you can see here that it, uh, there's two bedrooms on one end of the house, along with the bathroom, and then there is the master with its own private bath, and the nursery is right there. So this way, you know, it's close to home, or it's close to the, uh, uh, to the parents' bedroom, so this way they can easily go get the baby if the baby starts to cry or whatever. And I also have the bathroom, uh, designed as, uh, for the, for the other two bathrooms. It's actually designed as a Jack and Jill bathroom, which then I realized my design flaw in this, that there is no, uh, there's no like bathroom for guests to use. I mean, I guess I could have turned that one. I, I guess I could add three doors, but that would that would have started to get kind of weird. And so I I always saw this house as kind of like the growing family home, because then uh, what you could always end up maybe that's what I'll call it. I'm gonna write that down right now. <laughs> um. Because I had designed it kind of to be like where a teenager would be staying in one room. They'd have a child in another. And you could even put bunk beds in here since it is The Sims 3. And they do still have bunk beds. Um, and then uh, the nursery, once that child grows up, you could always turn it into another bedroom. You could just cut off that one door and um, make it into a private bath or a private room for the child there. All right, got that written down. <laughs> I'm sure you already know what I decided, because like I said, it'll be down in the description box below. So with this one, I didn't really do a whole lot of. I did some decorating. I do a lot. I I know that I I 
uh, if I could actually speak real sentences and not trip over my own words. Um, I actually normally don't put a lot of decorations into them, and if I do, it's normally just the bathroom section, and I think it's just because in when you, when you can go to pick items, that the bathroom is the only one that actually has its own accents section, which would be really nice if they had that for the kitchen, where it was kitchen accents, and they would have the... Um, like covered jars, it would have uh, the utensil drawer, the knife block, the paper towels. I mean, it, if it had stuff like that, that'd be amazing. Um, or even, or for the for the uh, study, it would have the pile of mags or the uh, pens and pencils or the uh, paintbrush cup, but. We're way past that now, and Sims will never go back and redo that, so. And so, this little room here, this is going to be for the laundry, and then I ended up finding out that even though it says it only takes up one square, you can't, you can't actually have something in front of that square, which I actually also ended up learning from the prison build when I went to go build that. I originally had it that there would be two washers, two dryers, and then an archway, and it would only be two squares wide, because I thought, oh, I can just put an archway in there and we'll be good. No. It doesn't work that way. And the greatest part is, I ended up putting the uh, washers and dryers along the sides, and I still had the archway there in the middle, because it was a four by three room, and it worked out fine there. So I don't, I don't know what Sim's problem is, but it worked out fine. <laughs> but apparently, not anywhere else. And I kind of went, I kind of went a little bit more basic with some of the, with some of the items. Um, but I still wanted to find chairs and tables that actually matched and kind of gave it a rustic feel because I actually chose something that actually had a pattern on the chair. Normally, I'll just pick regular plain wooden chairs, and that's also something that like what I have at my house. So I think that's part of the reason why I end up picking them all the time. I just I was picking out a couple cabinets here to go with it. Oh look, I remembered I remembered the smoke detector. Woo! Victory is mine. <laughs> Here's where we're gonna be designing the master bedroom. And I also had it uh designed in here that the uh in the master bedroom there would actually be a desk with a computer on it. So this way mom or dad can study or do work or whatever. Because maybe mom is a writer, maybe she needs her own private desk and um, at least according to my schematic, it has a computer. I really hope I put that in there. <laughs> and it also has a rocking chair there, because I, uh, when I was drawing it out, I didn't quite have enough room in the actual nursery in order to put it in there. And there's actually two doors to the nursery, uh, one that leads directly out to the living room, and then one that leads into the parents' bedroom. And of course I had to pick that desk and it reminded me of a desk my dad had when I was a kid. So I was like, you know what? Yep, it's a it's a it's a dad desk. That's what it is. <laughs> and I totally went more futuristic on the uh choosing of the baby items just cuz I wanted to kind of play around with the, what they had available. Um see see how it all looked. So you see, you'll see here that I picked that toy box and I end up changing my mind here and changing my mind there and it just it goes back and forth a lot so I was like, you know, whatever. I think I actually ended up putting uh, one of the, uh, spoiler alert, one of the uh, Into the Future mobiles above the crib. I'm pretty sure I did. Like I said, I, have, I picked a lot from the Into the Future expansion pack, especially for all the baby stuff because it's... It's not so boring. Like I've used, I've used almost everything else from the, especially the base game, because it doesn't. There's not a whole lot extra you can do without just buying a whole bunch of stuff from the store, which I do kind of try to avoid doing because I know that not everybody has all the store items, so I usually try to avoid doing the store items. But and then I literally ask myself, how on earth did that counter? be out. Not even, it wasn't even like half a square. It was like a quarter of a square. So I pretty much just went, okay, whatever. And uh, moved on. Just picking out some of the uh, decorations for the master bath. I 
even remembered to put the little toilet paper thing for the bathrooms. I almost never put that in there. Uh, like I said before, I'm just I'm not very good at decorating the stuff. I just kind of I kind of like just trying it out, seeing how everything fits out, and then kind of more contouring it around my Sims life. That's normally what ends up happening because I used to. Um, like, I've seen a lot of people on uh, other sim builders comments, they usually write, I don't understand how you do this, I just do boring rectangles, and or squares, and I used to do that a lot too, and so what I'd end up doing is just building a big box, and I'm like, alright, here's another box, and here's another box, and here's another box, and then I would just contour it around my sim's life, and so I've actually kind of started making different shapes and sizes, and um, if you could actually see this notebook, you might actually be surprised. At what I have in it. I just went to Walmart and ended up getting a little cheap 97 cent notebook because I ended up, uh, me and my husband were in town and we weren't home and I had accidentally left my old notebook at home. So I ended up just picking up a just cheap, a cheap notepad. It's just one of those little composition notebooks, but it's actually on graph paper. And then I picked up a cheap pack of pencils, erasers. I ended up picking up my favorite erasers. Um, it's a it's a three pack. I forgot what they're called. Um, unfortunately, all my off, office stuff is packed up right now, so I can't even look at the packaging. Um, but it's it's they're white square erasers. They're always there in the section. I used to do uh, drafting in high school, and I, that's where I had actually learned. And I had picked them up, and I loved them ever since, because it could. My uh, my teacher was really strict on what he, what he wanted for all the drawings and everything. And so I ended up buying those erasers and ended up finding out they're great for taking pencil marks out of anything. And I mean, we're talking, this, this teacher would literally darken the image, he would zoom in, just to find any flaw that you had. And this eraser was like the greatest thing I ever purchased. So... I ended up putting a lot more decorations in here than I thought I did. Like, way more. <laughs> Apparently, I was busy. Which is really odd, because the original video is only like 40 minutes long. I think it's because I'm also not very good at landscaping. I really need to, I need, I need to get better at landscaping, too. But, that'll be, that'll be for another day, so. Oh, and look at this, and one of my other drawings I have here in front of me. What, what does that say? But I have an archway in front of some dryers, so we'll see if it works there. It says bone. What? What was I going for? I don't know. I'll, I'll end up. I'll end up sorting it out later. <laughs> I'm sure I'll know what I'm talking about when I go and draw it up. So or go and put it in The Sims. Woo! And I even remembered lights in this one. <laughs> I'm really bad about forgetting lights too. I've been wanting to put like little post-it notes so I don't forget stuff like f remember the smoke detector, remember lights, remember this. And again, like I just said, all my stuff is packed up right now because I'm switching my office to my uh, guest room. My guest room is going to move into where my office is just because of the way my house is laid out. It's a little weird. Um, so I, like I said in the previous video, I do have that drawn up so I'll probably see about uh, actually drawing it up here in The Sims 3 probably shortly. But, I just haven't quite gotten that far yet. Just putting out some backyard stuff. Because like I said, this is more, this is supposed to be like a family home. This is supposed to be stuff where the kids can go out back, they can play, they can have fun. And then, I ended up moving just, and I also ended up putting out parking for the adults out front. So, this way they actually have a place to drive. Move the mailbox up close, move the trash can up close. Sweet, I even put in two parking spaces. <laughs> Alrighty. The, oh yeah, and the bicycle rags. Oh my goodness, it's been way too long since I recorded this video. And I'm now just now putting sound on it. Um, yeah, pretty much I'm just here sorting through the last of the outdoor decorations. Anything good? Did I find anything good? No, I don't think I did. I don't, I don't like a lot of the stuff that they have for outdoors. I think it's really kind of dumb. There's so much stuff I wanted to put in there, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't have the room for this. I don't have the room for that. No, never mind. I guess, I guess I'm not putting anything. 
<laughs> All right, but this is pretty much going to end up wrapping up this house build. Uh, go ahead and leave your comments, suggestions, feedback down below. Uh, I am on Twitter, Facebook, and thesims3.com. All that information is down in the description box below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you're liking these. And don't forget to subscribe to catch more videos like this. And have a wonderful day.